Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've missed... Oh, well. Actually, never mind. Anyway, we are back playing Super Mario Sunshine. I thought it was going to give us a different alert, but it uh, hasn't. Now, one of the things that the Deb's alert system down there will tell us is that we actually have... Uh, some people standing here in the plaza staring up into the sun. I wonder what that could be. Yes, it's actually a secret entrance to... Actually, the only entrance to Noki Bay World 6. And there's only seven worlds, if you guys remember correctly, so we're making some good progress in this LP. To be perfectly honest, although I'm not really in a hurry to finish it, I'll be happy when this LP is done, because I have some big-name games coming up after uh, Star Fox and Super Mario finish, which Star Fox finished filming just yesterday, if I remember correctly, which I sometimes don't. In fact, frequently don't. Oh, make it, Mario! Make it, make it, make it, make it! Oh, thank god. Now, there's several places in this level where there's graffiti on the wall, that it, which, uh, if you squirt it, graffiti that one squirted will, uh, produce secret platforms, or reveal secret platforms. Now, where do we need to go from here? Oh, right, okay, stand on this little thing here, and squirt this thing, and it'll fill up with water even if you just, like, squirt the bottom of it. And that'll bring us up a little higher, so we can get a good jump and hover over here. The goal here is to get to the top of the level without running out of water, honestly. Oh, yeah, look out. This is a whole new kind of slime here, too, which, if I remember correctly, has very similar properties to the other colors of slime that we encountered. It isn't electric, like the slime from uh, Sirena Beach was, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, here's one place where you may be required to clean off the graffiti, right up there. Because now we can wall jump up to the next area. Oh, if I can get further from the wall. Waha! Wall jump right up there. No problem. Awesome. Now just kind of screw these balls to get them out of your way. And you want to do a... Whoa, I didn't, why didn't he jump? Do a wall jump right here if you can get it to work. Now sometimes it's kind of tricky, so you may want to just back up to this area here. Hop up there. And then just hover over. But as you can see, it's a bit easier to get up top here. And then we sort of just hop across like that. No big, no big deal. Now, essentially, all this uh, really boils down to is a climb to the top, and then three tosses of the bomb. And I don't fall off, that is. That would be very bad at this point, because it would basically mean redoing the entire level up to this point over again. Redoing it over again? I don't think that's quite right. They were done in there, I think. Redoing the level, essentially. Boom! And that's three bombs right your face! Go for grenade cannon mirror guy. Anyway, for some reason that uh, destroying his cannon on top of a giant cork releases the cork. Thus, fulfilling the quest which was given to me personally in the name of the level, uncorking the waterfall. Now that it is look at Mario, he just looks so tired, he's sweating, wiping the sweat from his brow. So now the waterfall is uncorked. Fresh, clean water will flow into Noki Bay once more. I didn't mean to say, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, yeah, you'll find that most of the early shines in Noki Bay are, uh, in fact, I think most of the shines from Noki Bay are basically centric to, uh... Oh, I didn't know we'd pop out right here. That's handy. I'll just look at the sun and go right back in. They're centric to cleaning up the water. The boss of Tricky Ruins. And basically they have, like, six different theories about what is making the water so nasty, which I didn't mention it earlier, but the reason the water is purple here, at least in game speak, is because if you land in it, it'll hurt you. I don't know, the real reason it will become clear later, but our, their first theory was that, uh, the fact that the waterfall is corked is kind of bad. The, uh, second theory is, uh, that there's a boss up here who's causing the problem. Anyway, you gotta squirt the little square up there, you see it? You squirt that, and it causes a maze to appear at the wall! And so you sort of just Ah, crap, I hit the wrong wall. Oh, hey, we can still do this. We can still do this! If I would have the right nozzle out. And now I probably don't have enough time to finish it, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Because I've been surprised in the past about how fast I can do things. And I should have been the cover for so soon. Dang it. No. No. Don't push me out. Wait, I can't. That's a horrible camera angle. Let's zoom out just a bit. Man, they give you a lot of time to do this, don't they? I was expecting for it to push me out already. Wow, I made it through there. That's crazy, and it's just now starting to close behind me. Okay, well they gave you an excessive amount of time to do that in. 
This one's a bit easier if I remember correctly, so just hop across and avoid the blue coins at all costs. At all costs, uh, I should say. Plural costs. At any cost. I guess it would be at any cost would make more sense. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, just sort of hop all through all these little zigzag, zigzag evolved thingies here. As oh, we hear him, we hear him up there. And you may know from the bloopers. You may have guessed from the bloopers chasing after us that yep, it's this guy again. Gooper Blooper. I think that was his name. Blooper Gooper. I think it was Gooper Blooper. The Gooper. Dang it! Pick up hands, Mario. There we go. I don't know, for some reason in this playthrough, he's just having, he's been having a hell of a time picking those things up. I have no idea why. He just seems to have a difficulty with it. Hop, hop, hop. And again, we only need to go for the two center hands. So we'll crack those off. Quit fooling around. And go pick up his nose. Which, I don't know why he's got a pool of water around him, because it doesn't make him uh, any harder or easier to fight. I wonder if I can ground pound that little block right now. Mm. Now, if the camera out of the tree, that would make things a little bit easier. Here. Boink, boink. But I said we were going to get to fight this boss three times, and here he is. For the third time. We fought him twice in Rico Harbor, if you've forgotten. Episodes 1 and 5. And now here we are fighting him in episode 2 of Noki Bay. And we're about to finish him off, too, because he's really an underleveled boss for this point in the game. He's pretty easy compared to other, one, other ones that we're going to have to do later on in Noki Bay. At least other shines. And... Bonk. This time when he hits his head, he disappears permanently. And pop. The block disappears. Am I gonna fall right into the shine? That'd be kind of cool if I did. Hover. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I missed it. That sucks. Oh well. Doesn't matter. That'd be cool if I got it though. We well, just sit back for a second and think about how cool it would have been had it happened. Are you done? Have you thought of it now? All right, good. Anyway, what are we up to? Seven minutes. All right, we got time for another shine. I love these videos where I actually get to go through levels and actually, like, get shines, rather than run around and collect 100 gold coins or 30 blue coins, both of which are rather unenjoyable ways to get shines. I believe this time we actually have to talk to the guy, if they may force us to. Yeah. I get the feeling that if they didn't, like, immediately put you into, like, this dialogue with him, then my first time through the game, I probably would not have beaten the shine for a long time. Because, like I say, I'm likely to, like, run around the level several times before actually speaking to the NPCs. Anyway, this is the first of lots of these little, like, cool... Well, actually, probably the second one, if you count the sandbird. Uh, levels where we sort of, like, go into weird environments. And this one, where we've apparently shrunk. Or we've... We've apparently... Shrank? We have... Shrank. Yes. That's correct. We have shrank down to a... Is that right? right. Hmm. I always have trouble with that little construction. That's the past perfect tense. If you... Whoa! I just got hit some kind of current there. But yeah, essentially it's eight white coins. So this is fairly easy. I gotta think about that because when you have uh, the past tense, it's frequently a different word than past perfect tense. Well, like, like for example, uh, go. Uh, is verb go, to go. If you want to have the past tense, you'll say, uh, I went. If you want to have the past perfect tense, you'll say, I have gone, not I have went. And so, for some verbs, I get sort of switched up as to which word is past perfect and which word is past. And I just did that shine in like a minute. Wow. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty good. I, I got them, and the best, best way to do it is the way I did it. Uh, it's from top to bottom. Now, if I remember correctly, there's some kind of interesting thing going on here. See, there's, there's a door in there. And I'm not really sure what that, why that door's there, but there it is. I don't know if there's an Easter egg involved in that or what. I've seen all kinds of fake videos on YouTube about how they got the door to open, but it's it's all shenanigans. You can't open that door. It's sort of like the door in uh, Ocarina of Time, where you find the uh, Talon sleeping. There's that door that the guards kick you out of. You can't ever open that door either. It's not that it doesn't have a purpose. You just, you just can't really do anything about it. Anyway... We have some time, so I, I'm considering trying to, trying to decide whether I should spend those 150 blue coins now or not. I don't think I will. Just because I kind of want to show you guys at the end of this, this whole bit, uh, all of the coins at once. So I can say, look! Look at my total screen! I have all of the blue coins in my inventory right now! Mario has enormous wallet! And I can see my capture card is starting to foul up. So I think rather than 
for laboring this to 11 minutes. I'm going to end the video here, and I will see you guys next time when we will head back into Noki Bay and hopefully get shines 456 and maybe even more. See you guys then.